Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a trying to follow a Vogue makeup tutorial, but not just any Vogue makeup tutorial. This is Alexa Demi. Like she's so fly. If you don't watch Euphoria, I don't know what you're doing. Like I'm obsessed. And I haven't gotten like really into a show in a long time, but I am obsessed. The looks that she serves, the vibe that she gives. Yeah, I mean her choices, I'm not really gonna get into it, but fly like she's like the it girl right now okay anyways you guys if you want to see how i get this look go ahead and keep on watching okay so let me go ahead and get this started alexa demi because she says it like this demi i thought it was like alexa demi no she said let me correct y'all alexa demi we're gonna go ahead and check out her guide to 90s glam she started off with lash extensions your girl got some coint I don't, so I just threw on some little trio lashes like to accent my lashes a little bit. Definitely not the same energy, but it's getting the job done. First, she cleanses her face, uses like a little makeup wipe. So I'm actually gonna take these uh, facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. These are actually bomb. And she's got her special organic face mist. We'll do what we can. It's all organic and it's made out of vegetables and you know flowers i'm gonna use this becca skin love glow primer this is infused with nectar brightening hydro complex i actually used this in a previous video this smells so good you guys like refreshed and she has like this creamy serum but i've never seen a creamy serum before maybe i'm just broke we're gonna use this farsali liquid glass serum I love how she's all about skin prep. Like you can definitely tell that her mom is a makeup artist because she's like all about the skin prep life. So she's gonna use a little primer. I'm gonna use this First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Moisturizing Primer. God, this smells so freaking good. Mmm. Like our skin is quenched. Like she be taking steps. Going in with like the MAC face and body, it looks like. Cause I know she mentions that she wants like a lighter coverage or something that looks natural. So I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation because it's like a little bit of a thinner consistency and it's not like crazy coverage, but I'm kind of scared you guys because she puts on her foundation with a fluffy brush and uh, uh, maybe she's putting us up on game. Let's find out. Okay, don't sweat the technique, Miss Alexa. So I'm actually feeling that. It's giving me like feathered, airbrushed, light coverage. Okay, so she's using the NARS Creamy Rating Concealer, I believe. And I used to have like a little sample of it, but I ran out, girl, and I didn't repurchase. So we're gonna use some e.l.f. This is a lot, I think this is a lot lighter than what she's actually doing. Oh, she's going like this. Oh, I put too much. Oops. Ooh, okay. So this is where you've lost me. Not all under eyes are built the same. I'm gonna tell you something right now, cause <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do what she says. But my under eyes, they're pretty shady and they do not have my back at all. Like I've experimented with doing my concealer with a brush instead, but oh, she's moving fast. Let's go on the eyes as a base. She's so cute with her little hands, her little dainty hands. With my little slick baby hairs and my gold jewelry. I feel you, girl. Ooh. She said bake under your eyes. I used to bake, kind of. I never really got like super heavy into it. When my under eyes see baking, they go. <sighs> Moisture wear. We're doing the same hand motion. I got excited when I saw that she was using the Dior palette because I do have a little Dior palette, like all real bougie, um, but it's not this one, so it doesn't really matter. She does use this one later on in the video though, so I'm just gonna push it to the side a little bit. A creamy nude. Okay. You got it. It's just like a little tilt head back thing. Wow, 
Why am I holding it like this? Like I'm trying to sell it to you. Okay, so I don't want to admit this on camera. I do have like a knockoff version of that Path McGrath palette. The Cult Mania palette from Bad Habit. I think I used this in a video before. That being said, I would love to try out some real deal Pat McGrath makeup. Okay, she wants to just go in the crease with a little bit of a glitter. Okay. I like a challenge. I'm gonna take this shade, like this golden brown antique type of color. She is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've been baking for like a long time now. Oh, my under eyes. Okay. So we're going back on the lid, which I like to do as well. Even if I'm not doing like a cut crease, adding the light shade back onto your lid looks very bright and very pretty. And it kind of stops everything from looking muddy. Cause then you don't wanna do like a freaking cut crease every freaking time, Ashley. The fact that we haven't done any brows yet is making me a little nervous cause by now I would've already had my brows on like 30 minutes ago. Okay, and she's using Pat McGrath liner. I'm gonna use the new Anastasia liner. When I do my liner, like I like to have two hands and she has two hands, but if I have two hands, you can't see me. Let's hold the mirror in between our legs. That's real cute. Okay, so she definitely licked that Q-tip. I do have like these little DHC, I think they're olive oil Q-tips. They have little oil on them so that you can remove your makeup a little bit easier. Honestly, my line looks pretty clean. And that's not me being like, look at my line looks pretty clean. It actually just looks pretty clean. I'll clean up the eyeshadow that's underneath. She's so cute with her little dimples. By the way, this is the Milani Luminoso blush. I love that she does things in such different steps than I do. It's so different. I don't have that very bougie Dior contour palette, but I do have this pixie palette that I haven't really got much use out of yet. Why did I just hit myself in the head? I like don't even know if I really even own a contour palette at this point. I know those were the hot thing at one point. Wait, did she contour her temples or no? Because that's what I'd be doing. Oh, she didn't. I love having a little contour forehead, but I guess I won't do it. So now that I've done my contour, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. <laughs> like the biggest bronzer I've ever seen. Like this is like half the size. I'm just kidding. We're not using this for my body. We're actually gonna just use this Milani one. So I'm gonna use this Milani highlight in number seven, Summer Glow. So she uses two lip liners. First I'm gonna go in with NYX Sandstorm, baby. You know I love me some NYX Sandstorm. So for the more brownie shade, I'm gonna go in with Morphe Forecast, and it's definitely a brownie lip liner. I think hers is a little bit more warm than mine. We're gonna make it do what it do. What are you called for 90s? I'm picking up the phone. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Nude. Literally, it's called Nude. I don't know if this is light enough. The gloss that she uses ended up looking a little bit like a sheer gloss, but I'm gonna take the Wet Cherry Lip Gloss from Lime Crime, and this is a Naked Cherry. But then she's putting like a luminous gloss in the center. So I'm gonna take this Milani Natural Luster Lip Gloss. I love these glosses. 
to give a little snow snow. My nails are not acrylics. They're soft gels and I've- My nails are not acrylics or soft gels. These are press-ons. My nail guys have town on one, so we're doing what we can. Yeah, don't forget about the brows, girl. Tell me what we're doing with the brows. So I don't fill in my brows. Beautiful brows. No wonder she doesn't do anything to her brows. She doesn't really need to. <laughs> Some of us are not in the same boat, so. But I agree, I also can't go anywhere without a brow gel. So we'll just go in with the Anastasia brow gel. I'm brushing all the hairs up. This is so different. I'm literally, I don't think I've ever done like a full face with no brows. I'm a Grath mascara. I actually have her. I got her from Sephora. I'm so excited that I don't have to put on a full lash for this. Like you have no idea. I hate putting on lashes. They look so good and I can't live without them, but I hate them. So it looks like lastly, we're going back in with the same setting spray, which I like because it's actually a setting and priming mist, so I can use it for both. Okay, guys, I think I'm all done. What do we think? Decent? Does it look decently similar to what she did? I definitely am digging the like no brow thing, like the just a very natural fluttery brow. It's very fashion. I do miss my nose contour a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I do miss my bronze forehead a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But everything else is so cute. So yeah, guys, I think that's actually it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you thought. Let me know if there's any other like videos like this out there that you'd like to see me recreate. I really like this. Like I love doing somebody else's routine and kind of getting a vibe for the look that they go for. And you already know Euphoria season finale is gonna be popping off this sun. Day. Okay, and I'm sure I'm gonna post this before then I hope. Oof, don't quote me though. Anyways you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.